Ben Logan's ute, all set up with the gear needed to survive the big one, if and when it hits. This Sunday sees him putting on a free course in Wanaka on how to be better prepared for a natural disaster such as a major earthquake. Uh, we have a strong belief of sort of building a strong, resilient community that can handle and be prepared against uh, adversity, which we may face sometime in the future with the earthquake risk we have here. He says one of the biggest hurdles after a disaster is mental stress, which is one of the major topics they'll be covering. So one of the biggest ones is actually the psychology of survival, the psychology of leading into an earthquake, the mental mindset strategies, uh, priorities in an earthquake situation. And while we haven't experienced a major earthquake on the Alpine fault line in modern times, he says it would have a major impact on the area. Considering our geographic remoteness, if that makes sense, uh, we'll be somewhat stuffed. So I think having the ability to um, have the skills, the mindsets and also gear uh, distributed uh, in a practical way is very, very key for us. Logan says the Canterbury earthquakes show that an earthquake preparedness kit at home is not enough. Instead it's good to have a smaller kit in your car and even carry a multi-tool and a small torch in your regular jacket. So the Christchurch one we can take good, Christchurch earthquake we can take a lot of good um, knowledge and science from. There's a lot of um, photos and videos of people being stuck in the workplace in the city and trying to get home in a pair of high heels which obviously wasn't going to happen. Logan's earthquake survival course is set for this Sunday at Criffle Station Woolshed in Wanaka. In Wanaka, for the South Today.